My name is Sarah, I'm 20 years old. I'm from Connecticut and I was born deaf. I'm a third year in Northeastern University. I'm studying human services and I'm getting a minor in sociology. I know I want to work with children and I want to help kids who have disabilities to grow up and do anything they want to do. When I was a kid, I did ballet, soccer, basketball, cheerleading, Girl Scout, everything. <laughs> it's kind of nice to be able to prove to my school that just because I can't hear doesn't mean I can't participate. One of the biggest challenges that I've had is living on my own. Something might happen, so I've definitely had to teach myself to become more careful and more aware since I live on my own. One of the things that I've had to become more aware of is fire safety. Cooking fire is one of the leading causes of home fires in the nation. When I'm cooking, I have to be careful what I wear. So wearing a scarf and having my hair down, I could catch on fire. So I have to make sure I'm wearing the right clothes. Another thing that I learned about cooking is never leave my cooking alone, never walk away, go into another room, always stay with whatever I'm making. If there's a grease fire, if you put water on it, it's gonna expand and explode. So never put water on a grease fire. Put a lid on a fire. Another thing about fire safety, I think it's that keeps me safe, such as smoke alarm or fire equipment. Because I can't hear, I live in a dorm that has a special fire alarm. So if the fire alarm ends up going off, there's a flashing light that'll get my attention and then I can get up and get out of the dorm. You should always have a sprinkler where you live. Automatic fire sprinkler will put out fires and give you time to get out of the building. If the fire alarm goes off, I should always know two ways to get out of the building in case there's a fire. You want to make sure that you have a second way out in case the first way, the way you came in, is blocked. It's no matter where you are. If you're in your dorm, classroom, movie theater, restaurant, anywhere you are, you should know two ways to get out. You should practice getting out your second accent because you want to make sure it's not blocked by bicycles or trash cans or anything else. It's very important that I prepare to verify an emergency regardless of where I am, school, my dorm, classroom, movie theater, anywhere. You can always talk to a fire safety official or someone from the fire department to learn more about fire safety. Remember, fire safety is part of living.